According to media reports, the United States has denied Israel's stance on the occupation of the Gaza Strip. As Washington and Tel Aviv continue to disagree over Gaza's future governance, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan of the United States has informed the Israeli government that neither Israel's reoccupation of the Gaza Strip would make sense nor be right. According to media reports, Sullivan said at a press conference in Tel Aviv that Israel does not have a long-term plan to occupy Gaza and disclosed that the U.S. was in intensive talks with its ally about timing and means of a shift to a new Palestinian government in besieged territory. The National Security Advisor clarified that while Washington's stance on the Strip futures is clear, we do not believe that it does make sense for Israel or it is right for Israel. The U.S. firmly opposes Israel's occupation of Gaza, advocating for the Palestinian Authority to govern the region. President Biden emphasizes restructuring the authority aiming for unification with the West Bank. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan also met Mahmoud Abbas, pressing for a swift change. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken stressed the importance of reforms combating corruption, empowering civil society and fostering a free press after a meeting with the Palestinian leader. This signifies the U.S. stance of fearing Palestinian governance in post-Gaza conflict, promoting administrative overhaul and democratic values. If the stance is somewhat what the U.S. wants to push, then it does put Palestinians Mahmoud Abbas in a favorable position. Well, Mahmoud Abbas for a long haul wanted to see lesser control of Hamas in the Gaza, and it appears that it is finally going to happen. But will Israel accept the U.S.'s plan for the post-war Gaza? That is a question that needs to be answered. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.